Hello, it's Mary here in my garden in Kingsworthy. It's a lovely sunny day and you can see all the lovely green leaves behind me. Um, today we, we are in Remembrance Sunday when we remember all those who've died, those who died in the two world wars and those who di have died in war since then. And we remember them with sadness and remembering also all those who uh, have been injured in wars. So we're going to have two songs first, then we're going to have a, a little film for the reading that Ollie's found for us, then we have Magnus with a story, and then we've got Ben with the prayers. First of all we're going to sing One More Step Along the World I Go, and it's all about God being with us in everything we do. second one is give me joy in my heart and I'm just moving my capo one more down so it's give me joy in my heart keep me praising
The reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 15. Jesus said, I am the real vine, and my Father is the gardener. He breaks off every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and he prunes every branch that does bear fruit, so that it will be clean and bear more fruit. You have been made clean already by the teaching I have given you. Remain united in me, and I will remain united to you. A branch cannot bear fruit by itself. It can do so only if it remains in the vine. In the same way, you cannot bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who remain in me, and I in them, will bear much fruit, for you can do nothing without me. Those who do not remain in me are thrown out like a branch and dry up. Such branches are gathered up and thrown into the fire, where they are burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, then you will ask for anything you wish, and you shall have it. My Father's glory is shown by your bearing much fruit, and in this way you become my disciples. I love you, just as the Father loves me. Remain in my love. Good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? Now, in our Bible story today, Jesus tells his disciples about the importance of being staying connected to him, staying connected to Jesus. Um, and he tells that story of being connected through uh, the example that his disciples would understand of um, a vine, which is, uh, I'm sure you know, is a plant with branches growing off it that bears fruit. So um, let's have a look at what a vine would be like and what Jesus was trying to tell his disciples. It's a beautiful autumn morning, so let's go and have a look at a vine. Here's a vine. A vine changing colour in the autumn time. It grows up from a strong plant in the centre and the branches grow off it. And at a different time of year, it bears fruit. Fruit grows in the vine, just like these grapes growing in the vine. Have you ever seen a branch that's broken off uh, a vine or a tree? Here's one, if you haven't seen it before. What happens to it? It withers and dies just like this. Now, can it ever have fruit on its own again? Can it ever have fruit on its own again? No, it can't. It's no good anymore. It's, it's no good for anything apart from firewood, maybe. Because it's become detached and disconnected from the vine, from the plant, and from the branches. It can never bear fruit again. It can never be any good on its own. Jesus said, I'm the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me, you'll have lots of fruit, fruit like being kind and generous and faithful. And most of all, Jesus wants us to love one another the way that he loved us, to love other people the way that he loved us. Now, can we do that on our own, do you think? No, we can't. We need to stay connected to Jesus. We need to be connected to Jesus the way the branches um, are connected to the vine. That's what Jesus is trying to, to, to tell us. That you and I need to do that to be able to produce the, the good fruit that God expects of us. Let's pray. Dear Father, help us to stay connected to Jesus to help produce the kind of fruit that you expect of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for your beautiful creation, especially the blue moon last weekend and the lovely crisp autumn days with the first frost this past week. Today, we pray for our country back in lockdown. Be with those people who are finding it difficult and are lonely. Please bless all those who are sick and in hospital, including those on our welcome sheet. Thank you for doctors and nurses and all hospital staff coping with extra heavy workloads and the risk of catching coronavirus themselves. We pray that they will know your presence and your peace. Thank you for our families and friends and all those whom we love and who care for us. Please keep us safe and keep us positive at this time. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us end by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So now, the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all, all those you love, today and always. Amen. Hi Charlotte. Hi. How are you today? Good, thank you. Good, good. And what are you going to show us today then? So today I've got this little uh, spinny thing that might be quite fun to make um, just while you're at home. So what you're going to need is cardboard, a pen and some string and some scissors and a glue stick. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out two um, round circles and then you're going to stick them back to back so I don't have two on me at the moment I only have one but what you're going to do is you're going to get two and stick them together with the glue um, so you can't see the back of the card so you've just got plain card on the front and then once you've done that you're going to um, pierce two holes through each side as you can see there phase two and then you're going to draw either a face so you're going to draw the circle on one side if you're drawing a face and the smile and the eyes and whatever you want to put on there on the other side. Or you could do like a bird and a cage. So you do a cage one side and the bird the other side. And then you put your string through and you tie knots so that it doesn't come through the hole. And then you spin it up like that. Just like that. And then you pull it and if you look, it looks like... The face is in the circle. Or oh, the bird so, would be in the cage. Yeah, or oh, the bird would be in the cage, or whatever you want to do. That's great. That would be good fun to do. And the spot the difference, which I don't think I mentioned, oh. was this red mark here oh. that I have on my face. That's a bit painful, is it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that'll hopefully heal. Get yeah. better soon. Yeah. Okay, Charlotte, thank you ever so much. That's all right. And uh, next week, will you have something for us? Yes. Fantastic. Lovely. All right, then. We'll see you next week, see then. See you next week. Bye. Bye.